Wow, so look at this. <clears throat> WISN apparently has made it a habit of theirs, even, be even before my running with them, of just ruining dissenters uh, of the Black Lives Matter sort of narrative. So we have an article from them, of course, archived. Link in the description. From WISN. Shorewood Teen stands up to adult heckler during Neil 49 protest. Um, so basically, uh, I haven't really seen the cell phone video yet, but I, I suppose I can load that up here in a second, maybe, if it's here. Cell phone video show tense moments between a group protesting and a man screaming at them to get out of the street on Tuesday. In those moments, Bella Busby, 14, a Blake Shorewood teenager, confronted the white middle-aged man. Of course they have to, of course they have to highlight this. Of course of course they lead with this. This is the narrative that they're pushing. This is the narrative that they're pushing. Oh, poor 14 Blake, year old Blake, and the mean old white middle-aged, white middle-aged man. What a ridiculous, I mean, come on, dude. Listen, maybe certain demographics just want a neat, orderly society where we don't, like, lie about everything in order to drum up riots in the streets. But I digress. Uh, the video shows supposed to be telling the man who was wearing a Superman t-shirt to go home, a uh, based t-shirt, uh, choice, truth, justice, and the American way. Uh, the man in the video continues yelling at Busby and the rest of the group while jumping up and down and waving his hands in the air. The man appeared to take issue with the fact that the protesters were blocking East Capitol Drive, the street in front of the apartment building he was property manager of. Uh, yeah, any sane, rational person should look at that and get angry, you know, because it's interfering with his day-to-day -day work. And uh, these people probably don't even have jobs, of course, because they're young and naive and probably live at home, that sort of thing. Uh, and they're from Shorewood, so they live a lap of luxury. I mean, Shorewood is a Milwaukee suburb, pretty nice Milwaukee suburb, at least for now, um, until more of this encroachment piles in there. Um but dude basically is quoted basically as saying, go protest over there. That's all I'm saying. Protest all you want. Protest till you die. Wow. They probably, yeah, they probably like highlighted that. Oh yeah, that's, that's violence. Oh, violence. Die. Like, oh, you know, they're probably going to play up that angle. Protest till you die. I don't care. The man said in the video, protest over there. That's the Shore Police Department. That's who the enemy is, not the American citizens. So apparently that's a little bit cringe. He, so, he, you know, even, even, even as, as this dude is more or less capitulating, he's like half capitulating to the mob, right? He's granting the premise that the police are their enemy, right? And like separating the police from the American citizen. So it's like, he's granting the anti-cop premise and they still identify him, Right. And they try to screw this job. I continue. That heckler now has been identified as a property manager of the apartment building next to the Amstar gas station on Capitol and Wilson Drive. The building is owned by Eastmore Real Estate. Heckler did not respond to WISN News' request for comment. Yeah, uh, neither did I technically. But that was because when they tried to contact me about the hit piece they were about to make on me, uh, they messaged me on Facebook, which had a 30-day ban going on. So I couldn't respond to them. They didn't email me, of course. Uh, they knew that I was blocked or 30 day banned on Facebook. So chances are like they didn't meaningfully reach out to this dude or effectively reach out to this dude because they never do because they want one side of the story. However, the president of Eastmore real estate, Leonard Solbstach <laughs> told WISN 12 news reporter, Caroline Reinwald, excuse me, Caroline Reinwald, <laughs> That the man in the video has been terminated. <sighs> so that's what they're doing. I mean, they are sicking mobs of brainwashed young Blake youths on white, white middle America to ruin their livelihoods if they disagree. This is a bankster, corporate-funded, terrorist street army. I mean... I feel like I'm the only person on YouTube meaningfully calling this out. Everybody wants to do like 18 million videos about all oh, triggered SJWs coming for our superheroes and our comics. 
without actually identifying, you know, how this is being promulgated, who is funding it, that sort of thing. I don't see enough of that. And that's, that's, that's one thing I'd like to pursue on this here, this here channel. Uh, Sobzak said the actions the heckler took did not reflect Eastmore's company values. So you want like people agitating for a mob in front of your property. I, I mean, this is just capitulating to the mob, you know? And if, if this doesn't stop, man, oh man. But the 14 year old says, I think, um, I was so angry that someone didn't understand the entire point of stopping traffic. And I just walked up and started yelling at him. Busby said, I was like, that's not the point. The point was to stop traffic in honor of George Floyd. The point was to disturb everyone to bring awareness to this dude. He was a blob of street grease who leveled a firearm at a pregnant woman's stomach. Okay. He's a blob of street grease. Nothing lost, nothing gained. Well, something gained peace of mind that one less thug is off the street. But anyway, WISN News is not naming the man in the video. Quote, he was saying, get off the streets. This is my city. Get out of here. Stop s disturbing American citizens. It was weird because everybody there was from Shorewood. Um, that's, I mean, that's just, you know, okay, you live in Shorewood, like one of the nicest suburbs in the mid, well, I, I don't know about the Midwest, but at least in Wisconsin. Um, and you're whining in the streets about systemic oppression, like, you should be on your knees kissing everybody in that neighborhood's ass for even allowing you in the neighborhood, period. But yet, you're whining about oppression, you're trying to get this dude fired for disagreeing with you, you're sicking mobs on these people, getting them fired. This is just ridiculous, man. So WISN News met with Busby Wednesday, not the dude that they got fired, who said she chose to confront the man and yell at him because he will never understand the hardships Blake's face. So this spiel again. So we've all heard this blurb in one form, shape, form, or another. So as a white person, you've never felt injustice, racism, oppression that's been going on for Blake people and minorities since the birth of this country. So Blake people are outraged. We're tired of having our brothers and sisters murdered at the hands of the people that are supposed to protect us. Well, I mean, we all know that it's a fake news narrative that it only happens like once a year unjustifiably and that the vast majority of police killings are justified, self, self-defense, suicide by cop. I don't need to go over that data um, for the billionth and one time. But Busby said she is open to meeting with the man to explain her views in an open, honest discussion. Yeah, bad chance of that. It's not going to be honest. It's going to be one-sided Kafka-esque trap bullshit where... You are undeniably, inevitably racist, no matter what you say, think, or do, and any attempts to deny that you're racist are further proof that you're racist and fragile, and we can destroy your livelihood, um, or swing on you, or break your property. And then Caroline Reinwald will contribute to the ruination of your life with the aid of corporate-backed <laughs> WISN12, and oh yeah, and our buddy Ben Hart. Our buddy Ben Hart. So anyway... I don't know. That was kind of cool, I guess, to go over this. But I mean, this, this is this is lame. This was like a month ago, ish. Um, but yeah, WISN has a habit of going after like white dissenters against this movement. Not even not even like hardcore ones. Like I, you know, admittedly, when I when I snapped down these type of protesters, I took it a, a little over the top. I mean. Um, but, you know, it's not like I lied or anything. I, you know, I just went a little bit over the top, but they were, you know, haranguing and harassing people and threatening people. So I kind of snapped. But I mean, this guy, again, if I could find the quote again, look, he's half capitulating to the mob. That's the short police department. That's who the enemy is, not American citizens. So even when he's like, hey, I half agree with you or I agree with you, just go over there. Well, <laughs> That's cause to ruin him. That, that, I don't know. I think I've rambled a little bit too much about this, but, uh, you know, if you like my content, subscribe, you know, like, subscribe, fucking donate to my, uh, not my Patreon, because that got taken down, but I got a subscribe scar now. Uh, yeah. So, uh, subscribe, bitch.